Oh, shit. Hold on, man. What the? Breaking news. Charges filed in the murder of a retired Chicago police officer. The suspect just 16 years old. Casey Cronus is live tonight at police headquarters. Casey. And John and Scott, we are learning tonight that Larry Newman's very last moments were spent as a hero. More on that coming up. But first, the teenager who turned himself into police yesterday has been charged as an adult with felony first degree murder. Officials tell us that after releasing surveillance video of the suspects over the weekend, they were flooded with tips that led them to identify that 16 year old. And not long after he surrendered to police. Take a look. That suspect is pictured. Yeah. Oh. Bruh. <laughs> the vampire's got to feed, man. The the vampire's got a goddamn um fucking. He's thirsty. Shit. These two little fifteen year olds, just killers. Murderers. And listen, this stuff is shout out to Doug Chunk, South Nation Hall of Fame for coming through once again. Gifted 50 55 oh Arc Nation News memberships. Shout out to you, bro. Straight from Alaska. Now rush. Hey, hey uh, can I give a shout out? Someone someone gave me a membership tonight. I, I just saw the email or something like that, but I, I don't know who that was, but I'll check it out and thank you very much for that. Oh yeah, yes, yes, salute, man. What do you what are your thoughts on this, Jimmy? On these two fellas right here? You know, I know we, we talk a lot about how uh you know they never describe the uh the the uh the perpetrator or the suspect. But even if you were to describe them, there's a certain indistinguishability that you're describing. Well, they kind of were wearing skinny jeans and the the sweats and they had the kind of bushy hair that looks like snakes and uh you know what what can you say that's distinctive about them? You know? Yeah. How, how are you supposed to catch these guys unless you've got photos, which don't seem to matter? I mean, this this kind of haircut used to be that used to be that would be a defining characteristic about somebody. Now it's everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Right, right, right. They're they're all little demons. These little demons. This is them like after killing a senior citizen. They're just walking down the street like. Sigmund Fraud says somebody gifted me a membership. Is that you? Uh, that's not me. Okay, somebody no. gifted me a membership, and it's only right to pay it back. Great panel, fruit pick, band, fruit pick. <laughs> don't want me, man. God, don't. I ain't told that man that, man. Leave that man alone, man. Y'all crazy, man. Shit on the right of your screen with white stripes on his sleeve and he will appear in court tomorrow morning on the left in this image wearing all black is the suspect police are still looking for and tonight we're learning more about what happened the morning of larry newman's murder detectives say newman who lived in west garfield park was outside paying a worker who'd been hired to cut his grass that's when he saw two young men approaching him with guns police say newman he was paying a worker who he, who would cut his grass. Like, hey, hey, young buddy. Ah, ah, that'd be a 10, 15, 25. Hey, go find a day work. And it's like they just roll up and kill his ass. It's like any interaction you could possibly have has potential potential to be ruined by uh that in sunny infusion doesn't yeah, matter what you're doing there's a chance <laughs> that it can that can be ruined their presence yeah their presence in the in the equation but you can't say these things out loud you just have to know them and learn them so that when you show up at a place and it's a little too sunny you, you got to know to get out of there yeah caitlin clark has the um Caitlin Clark has to speak out against intersectionality and Islamophobia and racism from her uh, from 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 people online, but no black athlete has to speak out against this. 
what happened the morning of Larry Newman's murder. Detectives say Newman, who lived in West Garfield Park, was outside paying a worker who'd been hired to cut his grass. That's when he saw two young men approaching him with guns. Police say Newman heroically pushed the worker out of harm's way and pulled out his own firearm. Gunfire erupted and Newman was shot multiple times. He was a U.S. Marine veteran and CPD's longest serving bomb technician. In his retirement years, he continued a lifetime of serving others, working. Uh, fucking, you talk about an asset. To you. How many bomb technicians do you have in your city? Because you got a, you got a hundred thousand of these. But how many bomb technicians do you have? And, right. and a son bomb technician at that. That's like a endangered species. That's Sex. a glider, right? I can't. This is insane, man. A son man. This is a son man who's just a, a, a asset to his community. I mean, an asset. He looks like old wow, Curtis Mayfield. Wow. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have pulled out that gun. That's a mistake. You should have just let them rob him and take yeah. his gun. Most yeah. cops ain't gonna. Most cops don't want to let a, a, a criminal have their firearm because yeah, they, yeah no, they don't want to get pumped like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it's just second nature. And plus, yeah. he's a racist cop. He would have loved the opportunity to kill two black kids because he's a racist yeah. cop. Yeah, when you when 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 you're when you're when you're a guy like this, a bomb squad, you're an alpha. You're a you're a man of action. Like it's just, it, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just what you do, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't yeah, really but, think about it. But it's not a movie. Like he's not Tom Cruise or John Wick. Like my <laughs> old dog over your ass to realize. Like you know what, man? You gotta you gotta take this one and and live out. The rest of your life. Yeah, but these aren't movie villains either. This ain't Bane. This ain't <laughs> no, they're not. These we don't know that. Heroes. We don't know that he didn't try to de-escalate. He he might have tried to de-escalate. You know. Yeah, man. He, he might have been calling someone to help help these young kids. I just feel like if uh if a, especially if a son man has his gun out pointed at you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't negotiate with that. You just gotta be like, look, man, take it. Here it is, because they're impulsive. Like the the more you talk, the more you're gonna piss them off, and then the more likely you're gonna be dead. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there's there's there's. Listen, we did the there's actor a, a few weeks ago who just stumbled upon some sun men fucking with his car, and like it was like, hey, and they instantly killed him in downtown LA. I mean, instantly. Like, oh, you just walking up, hey. <laughs> like, talking about yeah, the actor, the actor right? went. yeah whack the jim johnny whack the. there is when they pull the when they're that close and they have a gun there is a definite increase in the percentage that they might actually hit their target you can't rep, you can't play against that he continued a lifetime of serving others, working for the TSA, training bomb techs at Midway and O'Hare, and becoming a minister at, in his West Side neighborhood. He worked with young people to create a safe environment for them. Oh, so he's working with the young people in the neighborhood. Oh, man. What if he knew these guys? Larry worked to bring peace to his neighborhood to show our young people that there is a better way in a break. Nah, fuck these young people. There ain't no fucking better way. As long as they got that DNA piping through their blood veins, ain't no fucking better way. What is he doing, man? He's been retired and, and been on a boat, you know? Neighborhood. To show our young people that there is a better way in a brazen and senseless act of violence. Larry's life was taken from him by the very people he committed his life to helping. And on that note, man, great show. Good night, Same nation. black time, same black channel. I'm out of here. Peace out.
Peace, fellas.